up you guys? I'm currently coming at you from Capri. If you guys haven't watched my full Capri vlog, I will leave it linked below, but I thought I would do another travel day vlog of showing you guys how we are getting from Capri back to Canada. So there's basically two different companies. There's Ali Loro and NLG. There might be another one, but those are kind of the two primary ones. We just bought our tickets at the NLG. So for 22 euros each, we have Capri to Naples. We're gonna be getting on a ferry. It's about an hour long and then continue on the day. I'll show you guys how to get back to Canada. And we're off. Should I push him in? Hey. <laughs> okay, we're looking for a taxi. It just arrived in Naples, and we need to get to the train station to go to Rome. We made it to Naples, it was about a 50 minute. The boat was actually like packed. Usually when we've been on those ferries, it like hasn't been that busy. That boat was packed. There was like people in every single seat. But we just took a cab, so it's 13 euros from the port to the train station. And then we're gonna be getting a train at the train station to get to Rome. Basically there's two different options. You can take the like more local train where it stops a bunch of spots and takes like anywhere from two to two and a half hours. Or you can do the express one where it basically goes right there. But that one's not as frequent um, and that one takes an hour. Think about it, Naples. Yeah, I'm strapped in. Oh, we're running. We're running. Okay, we did it. You can't turn off like a miracle round. My head is spinning. I see you rapping about. I'm sure as hell. And an hour later, we made it to Rome. Rome Tremini, which is the main train station here. We're gonna go grab a cab right now. One thing to be careful about when you go to the train stations is there is a lot of theft. Rome, I guess, Tremini station is kind of known for that a little bit, I've heard. Also, to the Naples train station, it's like a lot sketchier than I was thinking it was gonna be. I'm not a huge fan of Naples. I honestly think it's really dirty and like, I wouldn't go to it. I would skip it personally. Anyways, we're gonna go get a cab right now. Last time we're here, also, to the cab line was like hella long, so probably gonna do the same thing. So for those of you that are new to the vlog, you might not have heard this. I love McDonald's. We've been eating a lot of Italian food, so we're just going for a quick snack at McDonald's in Italy. I know McDonald's is good food, especially when you're in Italy, but I love it. Last time we came here, the taxi line was literally all the way to the back here. And now it's so short. So to talk about a little transportation, there's actually no regular Uber like Uber X. There is Uber Black though in Rome and Milan and then nowhere else in Italy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I read online. They do have a taxi app though that's really good. It's basically like Uber. And the taxi prices here, I mean, pretty standard for any kind of major city. So we're actually staying a night over in Rome before heading out tomorrow. Basically the reason we did that was because Rome was the cheapest city to fly home from. I am currently in the really funky neighborhood of Trastevere. Trastevere. I looked that up on YouTube, how to pronounce it like 10 million times. I probably just still don't have it. But anyways, we are currently staying here before we fly out tomorrow and we picked a very fun neighborhood. There is a party outside of our Airbnb. Like it sounds like there are hundreds of people outside of our Airbnb. Anyways, okay, it's like 10.30 right now so we need to go, we're gonna need some dinner and check what this party's all about. This is our little Airbnb to give you a quick tour. My suitcase has exploded over here already. There's a bedroom in here. And this is the key to our Airbnb, how fun is that? Last night on the streets of Rome. I don't know what's happening or what it's celebrating, but it's super fun. Music took a bit of a turn. <laughs> like something going on like a music festival or something. Peter thinks that it's just because it's Saturday night on the summer but I'm like no this is like there's a lot of people here. Well that's what someone told me. Um. Where 
restaurant that came highly recommended to me by a friend of mine named Will. He knows his food very well. And he says this place is kind of famous for its steak, but they got a lot of other dishes. I think what sold more on coming here was the first review that I saw recommended the carbonara with truffle pasta. It was just like this pasta is literally covered in a bed of truffles. Here and then we go home for unfortunately. 